Hey everybody. Uh, so a couple weeks ago I made some pine needle soda and it's super easy to do. I don't remember where I first saw this, but I found a website that was doing it and I'm going to link that below. I kind of followed her process, but I changed it up quite a bit. Um, and I'll get more into that later, but all you need is pine needles, sugar, and water, and you can make a carbonated soda. Um, it's not going to taste like a Sprite, but it's, it's close-ish. <laughs> um, but it, but it did taste good. It was enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. So <clears throat> first thing you need to do is identify a pine tree. So pine trees have pine cones. If it's got pine cones then it's a pine tree, but there are needle like trees that are not pine trees. And some of those trees can be poisonous. So what I did is I mainly used bull pine, but I also used white pine. And the way you know it's a white pine is that the needle clusters are in clusters of five needles and they're fairly long. And so I used bull pine and it had a much stronger taste, kind of like almost this like gin and tonic strong taste, while the white pine was much more subtle and I would say closer to Sprite. So all you're gonna do is get a quart size mason jar the some of the other people I've seen did it in like actual bottles that you would put the um, top on and I found that this was not a good idea it was extremely hard to get the needles in and back out and the quart jar with just a little ceiling top worked perfectly there was absolutely no problems with loss of carbonation or anything like that so you're going to grab a bunch of the white pine needles or bull pine the bull pine were long enough that I had to cut them in half but you're just going to want a bundle that would be about two cups and a mason jar is like about two and a half cups. So you'll put your two cups of pine needles into the quart jar. You'll put your two to four tablespoons of sugar. Um, a lot of people did four tablespoons of sugar, but I did two tablespoons and there was just as much fermentation. It didn't affect the fermentation at all. You're just not going to have extra sugar. So it's not going to have like a sugary taste, which, it didn't bother me at all, but some of you might want a little bit more sugar in there. And then after you do that, you're just going to seal it up and put it away. So there's a few things with that process. You want to make sure that you clean the pine needles before you put them into the jar and just use cold water. If you use warm water, then you'll kill, kill the natural yeast that are going to create the CO2. And you also want to just cut the tips off of both ends. I did both ends just to make sure that you only have pine needle there. And then you're just going to rinse it in the cold water. And I just rinsed them in the mason jars, or you could put them all in a bowl and do it. But I found it was easier to put them in the mason jar if I kept them in a bunch. But you also don't want the water that you're going to pour in there with the sugar to be warm water either. You want it to just be regular cold water. And so what's going to happen is the natural yeast in the pine needle are going to eat the sugar and it's going to create a natural CO2. And so you can check your quart jar. I would say check it like maybe the second day and just see if anything's happening. If next to nothing's happening, then I would wait another two days before checking it again. Um, but once you start getting bubbles and fizz happening, you can pour some in a glass over ice. You could put some lemon and lime in there just to add a little bit of flavor and it was perfect it's carbonated and it had a nice natural taste the bull pine they say that the white pine is the best tasting and i definitely found that to be true too the white pine was by far better tasting so i definitely suggest using white pine and you can use it like on the third day pour it um, close it back up and then use it probably for another two days i would say um, I didn't have a problem. I would even say maybe up to a week you could use it. And I, I had actually stored one for about two weeks and it didn't look like any bad growth happened, but it didn't start to smell very good. So I had to dump it. And a uh, reason I had to dump it was because I got sick and I wasn't drinking anything like that while I was sick. Okay. So you're going to want to keep it in a place that is slightly warm. So like room temperature warm, the colder it is, the longer it will take. So if you find that nothing's happening after three to five days, then you're definitely going to want to make sure that it's a little bit warmer. So the colder it is, the slower the fermentation will happen. But 
<laughs> it's kind of a fun experiment. It might be something fun to do like as a date, or it might be something fun to do with your kids or even just by yourself. Uh, it's winter time. You can just go get a pine tree, get a bunch of needles, put them in a quart jar with two and a half cups of water, two to four tablespoons of sugar in there, and then wait three to five days and you're going to have that natural carbonation happen and you're going to have like your own homemade sprite so it was really fun it tasted really good it's something i'll continue to do just for fun so if you make this i hope you enjoy it if you have any questions i will answer them in the comments um, thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me a like and if you enjoy my content please give me a follow thanks for watching have a good one